दिया My eyes. Did not Augustine make a distinction between what I mean to say is faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve. Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean. That is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. You found Fook? So what of the joy kang of Fulke? In your message, you say you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us... She can carry herself as one of them. So? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunebert, full of pious fire. And what does your friend Cunebert know? Come, I will introduce you. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we met, you sound more like your apprentice than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition, but it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important, and I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. Abbot Cunibert. Ah, oh, yeah. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak plainly, Abbot. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. 
A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Why not be alderman yourself? Why not kill him in secret and petition Elfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. This emissary... Tunbridge... I suppose... Um. 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 If Alfred's emissary spend a few days here, someone may know where he went. I've no time for your twittering. Ask about the emissary. See shop. Stable and stable and aviary. Animal. I hope to see you again soon. See shop. I must take my leave. to catch flies or would you ask something of me i'm looking for a man he passed through here on the king's business no bugger off here or i'll call the guards i'm sick of people you need to heal your own ills money i need information and i will pay maybe some coin will lose your lips a wise move mudwit it so happens i did see alfred's man he's long gone though Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him, see if he knows anything. That ale swamped scarp can't have gone far. I need your eyes, my friend. Oh, so cold. Oh, someone stole my troops. Fa la la la. Fanny, Fanny, Hera. You there! You alive! <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plod de plod plod. <gasps> Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head.
Musical musings. Press. Oh, oh, it's cold as a witch's tit in here. <laughs> oh, God's truce. Fire on you. Oh, what are you fed or wakes me? Are you the bard? Are you the tail weaver? Gowan the dandy. You. How about something long and? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the White. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night. My thanks. My thanks, Weaver of the Obvious. The emissary world. Hold. Not sync. The Abbot's on the southeast coast. Find and get the message. Find and get the message. Dover. The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight.
place is heavily guarded. Find and get the message. Go, Sunan. Find and get the message. Find and get the message. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. Teaches obedience and humility, and yet our abbot would defy Alfred. How oh, so? He's simply being a good shepherd, keeping Kent and her rich lands in the hands of the church. But the Danes? Do they not nestle at our borders like ash? Where's that damn say? I heard he was captured by Danes and they ate his heart. Elderman Diogel got blind drunk and likely staggered off the white cliffs. So we will take his place. <laughs> no, not a word for shit on a sheet. Sir. Said he was elusive. What am I to do now? King Ilfred's orders. Press E close. <laughs> I. Ilfred. He's gotten so paranoid now he won't even leave the keep town. Alfred's chosen elderman is a thing called Tetmund. The abbot Kunebert will want to know. I should meet Bassem and the abbot in Fulkenston.
You have news? Yes, sir. I have news. Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? To inspire loyalty, Tedmund must owe you something. Such is his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, save him from sure death, his gratitude would be... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps. Perhaps not. What do you know, Basim? Are you hiding something, Basim? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumberyard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. One more time, I'm telling you. If he says my books are dirty or my hand needs cold, I will split him off. You're full of swamp gas. You'll do what you... I'm wary of this abbot, Basim. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess, the scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. But the scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tell us? That your stories are clouded, and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Folke, you will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Be 
this field is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. Hell with you! I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver full care. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Find and kidnap Tedman. Let's go hooded here. Oh, you prefer to work in the shadows. Find and kidnap Tedman. Cast about this land, my friend. Stretch your wings sooner. See you, old friend. Get back to work. This area is off limits. Find and kidnap Tedmund. Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tidman. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success. The final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet, as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one.
survey the area soon. In. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. Carrie Tedmond. Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian. Else your man dies by my blade. Please, I, I, I'm not the man you want. Lol. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy root. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly or I'll slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. You will get us to Tedmund. We can use you yet, Shagar. Summon Tedmund to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedmund has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You're of no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you, here or now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. Oh, Danes! To, to storm the walls, you need Danes. There's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I, acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of... If the Saxons don't slaughter them first. I, I am still Tedmund to the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless... The Norn Abbot. And this foot... We will take him with us. Do what we will do, do, do what do what you want with him. I won't risk a harm. An army of let us hope. It is best to snare a wasp with honey. Have you ever considered more subtlety? I leave manipulation to you, Bassam. You appear to see it as an art. It is both art and science to bend a man to your will, and harder still to convince them that they are firmly in control. Shurga was quick to betray his lord. Do you not think he would sell us out as swiftly? Perhaps, perhaps not. I do not presume to know a man's heart in so brief a meeting. His prattle was sad and ugly, like a weeping babe. You have little patience for chittering squirrels. And yet I allow you to squeak in my ear along all the roads and byways of Kent. Your sister rides your piss-soaked rod!
deep in the sword sleep. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon horse sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercia will heed the call. Giedrich will provide our viking at a halt. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I'll remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Giedrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless ship. And what is our plan? In the morning you will go to Buckingham. Remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusister with the ships. Abruna, that is your task. I'll tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will... Good. That gives us time to drink. You travel so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move. Mine is not the usual path. Bag. Ability. Melee. Heavy damage. Fay. Fay. Health. He ability. Warrior. Heavy. Warrior take down. Way of. Way. Ability damage. Hep melee. That'd be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Bag. Ray. Fire resistance training. Increases resistance against fire and reduces damage from it. Plus 5.6 fire built up resistance. Plus 5.6 fire damage resistance. Hold right mouse button reset. Sight here. Release the naval chain. Release the naval chain. Release the naval chain. What do you see, Sunan?
Go, my eyes. I need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. A mechanism should be inside. Release the naval chain. Right. This is a message. Someone tried to kidnap him and instead got the same thing. Release the naval chain. Yes. 
fight. Release the naval chain. Release the naval chain. Release the naval chain. With the chain down, Githrich and the ships can get through. Eivor, we await your orders. No. You brought your weapons and armor? Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our... Well met. When the chance arrives... Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusas then? I am ready. Rally our army. We will... Oh, you! 
Let's hit them hard!
hold up in the tower keep. Press forward. Thor lends me strength. Defend the ramp! Keep those Saxons back! We must find a way to lower that drawbridge. I will see to it.
hide down here, Eivor. Then we must look higher up for a way in sight.
dare to take this fortress, Dean. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We're not here for stone and sand, Thane Tetment. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane. I'm... I mean no offense, Thane. They're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough, or I'll return you to the Saxons with ten fewer fingers. Sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. You will not be in vain, Christ slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedman. You extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! He's dead! The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunibert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. <laughs> These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Kinnebert, find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Kinnebert's abbey. You fought like beasts escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangled briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. 
We'll feast and sing, with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. Just be careful now. Meet with Basim. It is too quiet here. Where are the brothers or the abbot's men? I would say, well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you, brother? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Kinnebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tedman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. your eyes and blade sharp. Cunnebert, your guests have arrived. Come, supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation. It's early for... I couldn't... Where is my brother? Is he... Is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never... Kill her and will never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. You mock me. I have killed for much less. Of course you have. We call the sheep and thin the flock as... Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders. Wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods. You lured him in with that lie. Yo. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious. Well. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Escape the ambush.
Fulke let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did? And with no cause? It may be, but it's the only lead we- I hope all this innocent sacrifice- It's Sigurd, my brother. Of then come! Let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was- This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. <laughs> It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. This land of summer, mists and forests, dreaming dark. Travel to Canterbury. Show me. Best not to draw attention here. You want something? I should wait for Bassam. Only death and darkness follow if I go in alone. Be my eyes soon enough.
this is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us, cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. A subtle blade is needed here. Let not your fury drive you to your yard. Your death will not help him. We'll find... Infiltrate the cathedral. You're back. Very well. We'll find him. Two arms, Basim! So we are to blow in like an ox. <laughs> Whatever we find there, keep your head. You chastise me like a child, Bassam. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, Sly Tongue. Huh? No riddles. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is when not to stay the stones of this courthouse. Still here, we'll burn this Christ house to the ground. For the order, for the glory of the ancients, do not let these infidels find its secrets. Say good night. Oh my god, watch my lead. Get 
Search for a fook. <laughs> Search for a fook. This must be the way to full case sanctum. Then let us go. Riddle with the stench of her. Help me, Basim. Sigurd is within. Fulke! I'm here! Face me! Have a care, Ethan. You will play into her hands. Sigurd. Soldiers, then. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the hidden ones. Hide them all. Hmm. If is it, I that bet. If I must. We world. Undiscovered location. Hope reporting on scent. Abbot Seinbert is dead, and Fook has escaped with Sigurd. 
Hold left mouse button fast travel. Sigurd. He... he's alive. But not with you. Where is... Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never... I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him. <clears throat> I see you, Eivor. I know what you are. Eivor. You come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away. Took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Ranvi. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Hey there, how are you? Kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd, do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my be- And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death. I accept. I accept. We settle this now. Ah! A fight? Let the circle be made! I'll make a goblet of your skull! 
This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. You've gone soft! Pathetic! to do this. Walk away. You walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. Only for what I must do. See what you do. There is no honor in this. What do you do? An honor that secret will not teach you. You suckle at his teeth and then leave him to die. You should have listened. You might have saved yourself. you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Please! Both of you! You could have waited. You could have come with me. I accept. I accept. The deed! I'll crush you underfoot! Please! Please, uh. both of you! Yeah. Is that the best you can do? You walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. You go stuffed! <sighs> Pathetic!
to do this. Walk away. Are you scared? Only for what I must do. Do you not see what you do? There is no honor in this. Today. Step you and where has that you could I walk I accept this is madness deck I do not this is not a question let the circle be made oh, I'll burn you like a suckling pig Is that the best you can do? <laughs> You've gone soft! You walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. Pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> 
Want to do this? Walk away. What's up out there, Eivor? Are you scared? Only for what I must do. Do you not see what you do? There is no honor in this. What do you know of honor that secret did not teach you? You suckle at your feet and then leave him to die. need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Could have waited. You could have come with me. <laughs> <laughs> 